comrades and friends i'm thankful to the organizers of this event for giving me an opportunity to shed my tears in memory of those who gave their life for the liberation of tamil homeland they were killed by successive singhala shonis government and the last but not the least the mahindra ji therefore we are thinking of the misery created by these regimes not only for the tamils but also for thousands of mothers singalis who gave their sons to be sent by these regimes in aggression to the tamil homeland and to attack the tamil people and these young singalis thousands of them died and in a in an aggression to a land foreign to them and a land possessed possessed by the tamil people and the misery created among the singalis also will in the coming period will be shown by their protest it's an irony of history that general fonseca who was selected to be the bloody butcher of the tamil people by mahindra regime is now suffering with other political prisoners the tamil political prisoners in the prisons of mahindra rajapaksa the division among the singhala chauvinists is shown by that not only that janata vimukti paramuna which persuaded promoted and pushed mahindra rajapaksa to carry out this genocidal war against the tamil people and aggression on the tamil homeland is now is beaten up by the same regime the regime that came to power with the support of the janata vimukti parama they are beaten up they are being thrown into prisons in the south whenever they come out in a protest is an irony of history that people who created this monstrosity is now suffering and they had to fight back in this uh, moment of sorrow i wish to mention few names that come to my mind mahendra nadeshan who died very recently was a member of my party for a long period and in fact i was witness to his marriage just two days before 
his death mahendran spoke to me and said that he is not going to give up but he is no more and similarly i should mention kumar ponnambalam who studied with me at cambridge and in the course of our struggle every time i was accused by this chauvinist singhala regimes he came to my defense and he is also he is also he also gave his life on behalf of the liberation of tamil homeland so was raviraj raviraj came every time we campaign against disappearances political prisoners in various cities in the south he was also consumed by this villainous regime so was paraj singham who came with me to canada and spoke on behalf of the tamil liberation also comrades and friends 24 members of my party including chandavimala and annamale gave their life for the right of self determination of tamil people autonomy of the tamil people and equality that they should have in a common ground and i should mention again in the course of our struggle for devolution over 1000 singhala socialists and social democratic elements were killed by the shomanis killers of janata vimukti param so therefore comrades and friends we must realize that this struggle is struggle for all of us not only for the tamils but also all democratic minded singhalis the struggle has to be taken very seriously it is true we have gone through a defeat but we have to rise up we have to get up and fight back and we have to create the struggle which is combined north and the south to overthrow this regime mind the regime and establish freedom and democracy in the land then i believe we can really bring the criminals to justice and have a proper investigation to the crimes committed during these bloody wars against the tamil people and their homeland i'm glad to say now the sam samaj party and also the also our friends in social democracy we have agreed and come to understanding with the btf to fight together for the establishment of civil administration and civil society in the north release of political prisoners and against disappearances and abductions comrades and friends 
uh, it is true that things are difficult at the moment but remember the tides are changing the government is in fear that you can see very clearly it is possible for us to fight back there is repression no doubt there is a military government in the north and east civil society is not allowed to function tamil elected mps are not allowed to participate even in rehabilitation and it is difficult for anybody to start a mass campaign but we have started in vaunia few months back we had a protest meeting and a campaign over thousands joined similarly we can go forward in the coming future there is state terror in the south for those who stand for democracy and also the right of tamil people the right of self determination and the autonomy but i am glad to say we are getting more and more people joining in a common struggle against this government against mind the regime so therefore let us today it is take to our heart that we will fight together to overthrow this bloody regime and bring democracy and freedom to all people thank you